Good morning, everybody. We want to take you to an area in Adams County that is near 88th and Washington Avenue where a manhunt is underway. Yeah, they still have a perimeter set up as they search for two people after the killing of a sheriff's deputy. The Adams County Sheriff's Office is still looking for those two who might be involved in the killing of a deputy last night. The alleged shooter is in custody this morning. It all began with an assault that happened last night at 88th and Dawson near Washington Avenue, and that's when deputies met a trio of suspects. We have team coverage of the shooting this morning. Mackenzie O'Keefe is at the Adams County Coroner's Office in Brighton to show us images of support as a procession happened overnight. Tori Mason's right near the scene of that shooting. That's at Sheldon and Edison, not far from 88th in Washington. Let's go to her first for the very latest there. Tori. Well, Alan, still a very active crime scene. A lot of police and deputies out here behind the crime scene tape trying to find any kind of information that might lead them to those two other suspects that are still on the run. Now, police haven't been able to brief us on any new developments yet, but we do know that the alleged shooter is in custody. This all began last night. Deputies responded to an assault call in the 8700 block of Dawson just before 7. When they got there, a suspect ran from the deputies and they started to look for him. They later came in contact with a man who matched the suspect's description. Authorities say that man ran from them and led them behind a home in the area. When deputies caught up to him, the suspect pulled out a gun and started firing, shooting Deputy Heath Gum in the chest. Gum was transported to a nearby hospital where he later died. On behalf of the entire sheriff's office, we are praying for the wife and family of our fallen deputy. Please continue to keep them in their thoughts and prayers. Please understand that this is an active investigation and crime scene, and we are still searching for potentially armed and dangerous suspects. Now, the two suspects they're looking for are described by witnesses as two light-skinned black males or two dark-skinned Hispanic males dressed in all black. They are potentially armed and dangerous. Now, the initial call that brought deputies to this neighborhood last night came from this area you're looking at right now. It's about a block over from where we're standing. Now, investigators have shifted their focus this morning to an area around another house at Edison and Sheldon, possibly the area where that shooter was caught last night. I've seen them going through cars, searching through the snow, the grass, trying to find any kind of information that might lead them to one of those suspects on the run. But we're still waiting for police to update us with any new information, any new developments that they might have had this morning. And as soon as we find out, we'll report back to you guys. But for now, we're live in Adams County. Tori Mason covering Colorado first. And those deputies and officers have been searching since 730 last night. So they've been busy. Thank you, Tori.